Here's how to set up user level access for devices and for important features in your home seer system. Let's pretend, for example, that you have a family with a mother or a father and a couple of kids, and you want to allow the kids to use part of the system, some of the devices, but you want to restrict access so they're not controlling the thermostat and messing around with other stuff in the house. How do you do that? Well, the first thing to do is to create a login for all the family members. And that happens over in the setup area. So go to tools, go to setup, click on network. And in the top section, you're going to find web and HS Touch user settings. Establish usernames and passwords for all the family members. So we've got dad, we've got mom, and we've got the kids, Sally and Timmy. Dad has a user rights level of admin plus local meaning he doesn't have to log in locally. Um, mom has a normal level, and so do the kids. But mom's normal level is a, diff a little bit different than the kids. She has the ability to access events and also counters and timers. She doesn't really care about the log entries, so we've turned off log, or dad has turned off log access for her. However, for the kids, they don't need to launch events. They don't need to know what the timers and counters are doing. They don't need log access. So those important features are restricted. They're turned off for, for Sally and Timmy. So that's the first thing to do. The second thing to do is to go over to the device list and figure out who needs to have access to what. Now, for Sally and Timmy, it's pretty easy. We want to give them access to stuff that's in their room. So in Timmy's bedroom, his overhead light, we want to give him access to that. Uh, in Sally's room, we want her to give her access to her vanity light. And because they're go both going to be spending time in the family room watching TV, we'll give them access, access to this accent lights um, lighting fixture that's in the family room. Okay? Um, how do you do that? Well, let's click on Timmy. Let's go on his, um, into his bedroom here. And on the configuration page near the bottom, you're going to see Select Users. And if you pop that open, you're going to find the logins for the family members who are not admins. Remember, admins have access to anything. So in this case, there's Mom, there's Sally, and Timmy. We'll give Timmy access to, to the stuff in his room and only Timmy. Okay? And you're going to repeat that process for all the other devices. So as you go through these devices, let's say, for example, the family room, we're going to give everybody access to the family room. So d again, dad is admin, so he has default access. Mom also has access, and Sally and Timmy. So anybody can use these lights. However, up in the master bedroom, we're just going to give mom and dad access. So all you have to tick here is mom. Once again, dad has automatically got access to everything anyway. Okay, so Sally and Timmy won't have access to that. Now, let's go back to the home screen. I'm logged in currently as dad, and I'm able to go anywhere in the program. So I have all these options. I can go into setup. I can go to all these tabs, no restrictions whatsoever. And I can control all the devices here as well. But let me log in as Timmy, and I think you get an idea of what I'm talking about here. So let me log out. Login screen comes up. I'm going to pretend I'm Timmy. There we go. So now when I log in as Timmy, I only have access to the family room and to the stuff that's in my bedroom. And that's it. That's all I get. Now, if I try to go to setup to make some changes, I get a little warning up here. It says I don't have access to that. So I'm restricted from messing around with other stuff in the program. I can't play with plugins. I can't do any, any of that stuff. Uh, now, likewise, if I were to fire up HS Touch right now and uh, the mobile app and I were, I were to try to access things in the house, I would have the same level of access. So in my device list, I'd only be able to control the stuff in my bedroom and I would only be able to uh, control the family lights. And that would be it. And I wouldn't have access to events or anything else. And that's how it works.